Hey guys, this is Fee Diamond in the Rough, and I have an unboxing, a bit of a different type. Um, but oh, I shouldn't lean on my shoulders because you can't see my face. You need to see my face for this one. Granted, I have bags under my eyes. Um, but anyway, unboxing. I have gone and done a monthly subscription to these guys. I think I only did for three months just to try them out and to see if you guys are interested in actually this type of unboxing. Um, so this is from Universal Yum, so I will turn it over. I will put the link down below so that you can check it out if you are interested. Now they do um, an unboxing, so they do an um, they do a box every month, different countries each month. Um, what they do as well is they give you a little hint. Um, however, I've seen these unboxed already. Um, being in Australia, we tend to get things a little bit late. Um, but I mean, they are shipped on the. When was mine shipped? This so they were, I got notified on the tenth of the ninth that they're being. So 10th of September that it was being shipped and your box and it says your box will be delivered by your local post postal service one to two weeks. Um, so that was advised on the 10th of September and it arrived. Excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. So sorry. Um, so yeah, it was. I was notified on the 10th of September. And arrived on the 19th of September so it's taken nine days so one and a half weeks uh, delivered to me so but so therefore I know already know I kind of know what's in there without knowing what's in there because you see what's in there but you don't get the taste and that so and most of the ones I've seen you're only seeing the people's face you aren't seeing the box and I want you to guys see the box as I see it okay so um, the little they do these yums traveled all the way from the birthplace of democracy so this is where this is the hint um, straight up I know that's Greece now this is really funny for me um, but I know that's Greece purely because I've seen it unboxed as I said earlier so I'm gonna get into this but being from Greece I find it rather amusing because my partner is Greek. Okay, so here we go. Oh yeah, let's open this little one up. So, just going to read to you what's on there. Hara, after a tum tumultuous journey across the ocean, a brief stopover in New Jersey, and a wild adventure through the postal service. This box has finally reached its intended destination, you. This isn't just any box, this is a box from Universal Yums. Every month, Universal Yum sends a box of snacks and candies from a different country. That's right, you get to try this month's featured country, but next month will be somewhere else. If you're receiving more than one month of Yums, you can guess where it comes from. Just check out the clue on the back of the booklet inside. If you need to make any changes to your shipping, rah, 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 rah. Here are the details. Uh, here are the details. You purchase this for you as a gift. Six months of yums. So this is um, this little notification is directly to me, and it's saying so you can purchase this as a gift for someone, and purchase this for you as a gift. So I would send it to me, and it will. It does actually say that I did six months worth of yums. Okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Anyway, so Greece. A little bit of information on on here. Welcome to Greece. Uh, the crunchy based seasoned breadstick, Kilkis, Kil uh, Mount Olympus, Olympia, Athens, Mykonos, Santorini. Okay, so that's sections. Okay, haven't been to Greece. Um, yeah. Think your choices are drag. Your chores are a drag. The Greek demigod Hercules was tasked with twelve labors, including battling, battling a lion and slaying a sea monster. 
the one that's on the back. What's on the back? Oh, okay. Official yums. I don't know where they're saying on the back. Oh, I couldn't see that one. Cast your vote for your favourite and least favourite yums in every box. How to vote. Put your initials in the box that corresponds with the yum award you're giving. Each person can vote for only one snack in each award category, so choose carefully. Don't forget to post your ballot on social media and tag Universal Yums to win your favourite. Okay. And there's also a secret puzzle in there. So it's just something pretty cool. And it gives you a hint for the next box. Get it next one known for its chocolate. And soon you'll get even better when paired with decadent. My guessing is cheese. I'm guessing possibly Switzerland with Swiss cheese. That's my guess anyway for next month's box. See if I'm correct. Um, okay, anyway, let's go and have a look. Hello, Bo. Yes, I have food. Go away. I've got food. Let the Yum Box adventure begin. So there's all sorts of stuff in here. Trivia. How well do you know Greece? <laughs> Uh, and then we've got the snacks. Okay. Do you know what's really funny about this is I am so fussy with my foods that this is freaking me out. <laughs> oh, okay. So let's have a look what's in here. So I didn't go, I think I went the second box up. Um... Hang on, let's see if I can find what I ordered. Um, I didn't get just the one. Um, just hang on, I'm just trying to find it. This is me being well prepared. <sighs> hmm. Hang on. Oh, where are we? So there was a couple of choices of boxes so you have the yum box the yum yum box and the super yum box and I've got the yum yum box so there should be 12 snacks in every box so the yum box has six snacks the yum yum box has 12 and the super yum has 20 I'm thinking I may have just should have just gone the yum box but this is the yum yum box with 12 snacks <sighs> tortillas chips oregano I'm just going to go and find the very first one in this box. And the question is, are these going to taste anything like Nathan's mum's? Um, so this is basically uh, Oriental Sarag... <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Nathan will be able to pronounce this. Um, basically this is baklava then next one on there is the do I eat oh what bugger it. Um, there's two in there I'll have um, I'm gonna have to eat and reseal these I suppose and then we'll see how we go okay so Oh, oh, okay. Very, oh, yum. <laughs> mm. There's all the syrups on the bottom. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hang on a sec. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I have paper towels near my desk. <laughs> Let me put that down. Oh, those baby wipes I use going to come in so handy soon right sticky fingers oh oh so yeah the bottom is very very sticky and that is really sweet but that is really nice hang on a sec sorry guys massive walk into my kitchen I'm actually gonna just grab a little bit off with a fork I think that's and what I can do is seal it up and then I can take these to work for meals. Okay. 
Where's the camera? There it is. Just gonna. I've got to focus on it. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so. What's it saying here? When exploring Greece, there are a few things you have to do. See the Parthenon, soak up the sun on a white sand beach, and try baklava. We're not kidding, baklava is nothing short of a national treasure. You'd be hard pressed to find a single Greek celebration being wedding, holiday, dinner, or birthday party without a platter of the syrup nut filled sweet front centre. But rest assured, Greek baklava never gets boring, and there are tons of different varieties to choose from. Okay, so here we go. Mmm. Okay, right, so this is. It is nice. But. As opposed to basically Nathan's mum, you can really taste how processed this is. You can really taste the process. It's not one that, you know, it's not like a homemade one. But obviously nice because I've gone back for another second piece. Hmm. Okay. Oh, these are so going to be vacuum sealed. <laughs> uh, paper towel. That's yummy. <laughs> That's really yummy. <laughs> but I want to get it back in the bag. You can see the syrup down the bottom. <laughs> Ooh. That's a lot of sugar. No, it's not going to go back in the bag. Okay. Out with the wet ones. Those, my fingers are so sticky there. Okay. Kratans hit pesto basil. Open this bag, you'll be instant to notice that the thing that you notice one thing, the unmistakable scent of basil. That's likely what Alexander the Great noticed too, when he discovered basil dotting the landscape of newly con conquered newly conquered territory. Okay, so that's Pitsanaski. Oh look, I don't know where the other one said it, but we've got how many calories that is. Okay. I'm using my sewing scissors, which I shouldn't be. Okay. So let's have a look. Oh. <coughs> I'm not that adventurous. Um I cook I use basil in my cooking, but not that much. Jeez, that's strong. Oh, oh, yum. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yep, you really, really, really. Mm. I don't know how much sound you can hear in my chewing, but that's really nice. Okay, they're a win. Next, as we work our way along, is the Serenata finger. <laughs> Some nice stuff in there, folks. <laughs> okay, Serenata finger. Obsessed with wafers. We sure are. We try them practically everywhere we go. But this month we're even more excited than usual because Greece is where wafers were invented. Oh, wow. Ancient Greeks first started cooking up the treats, then called obelius, in 146 BC. They pour batter, <coughs> batter between two hot plates attached to wooden sticks. Think of them as ancient waffle irons. Cook the wafers to perfection and then top them with herbs and cheese. Fast forward to 2000 years to 1970 when Greek company Totus Bingo created their flagship product, the Serenata Wafer. This rich chocolatey take on the millennia old traditional tradition quickly became a house and name across modern Greece. Okay, that's enough of reading that one. Let's see. 
Oh, oh. Okay. I didn't open the bag properly. <laughs> Let's get this fork in. I've got a vacuum sealer, so I'll be able to seal these bags back up. <clears throat> okay. Whoops. No, I'm going to have to bite it. Mm. Focusing on my nails, not on them. Oh, did we get it? Come on, no. Focus on what's in the middle camera. Okay. Twix. In Australia, they make me think of. No, 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 not a Twix. A Kit Kat? But a Kit Kat is probably sweeter and has more chocolate on it. Um, it's a thicker chocolate. But that's what that makes me think of. Okay, let's put that one in. Yum, 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 yum. Do you like that? Okay, so then we've got the coffee the uh, chips. If you end up going gaga over the Greek potato chips, you have one person to thank. Yanis Kapodistin. The Prime Minister of Greece. Why? Because in addition to building schools, preparing the country for democracy and creating jobs for women, he was also a diehard supporter of the potato. When, I'm not saying his name, when he became Prime Minister in 1829, he dreamt of making Greece a potato hub, hoping it would boost the country's economy. Now, so invested in putting down the potato's roots in Greece pun intended, that he gave them away for free. Still, the public didn't see the appeal. So he hatched a new plan, hired armed guards, protect the next potato shipment. Lo and behold, the Greeks got interested. <laughs> as soon as you put it to make it, the, 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 it's got to be guarded if everybody wants it. <laughs> uh, new, he hired armed guards to protect the next potato shipment. Lo and behold, that got the Greeks interested. Local farmers convinced that convinced the potatoes were valuable, started stealing them before long the potatoes spread countrywide. <laughs> Is that right? As soon as it's something that's really, 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 um, as soon as it makes it look like it's, it's a rare thing and it's precious, um, people want it. But to think I was stole, stealing, I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> Potato famine. <laughs> okay, so oregano. So, a couple of different ways. Ore ore oregano, oregano. Um, let's have a go. Oh, nice. I could eat them too. Okay. Yep. I do it like them. Oh. <laughs> you know what? Bear with me a sec. Okay. I don't want those falling out, so I'm going to. Peg these so they don't come out. Can't really seal it up, but I can at least peg it. Excuse me. Chips don't go with with coffee, and that coffee is nearly cold. Okay, so next one. Oh, Musto Kukluuro. You don't often use the word must you to describe good things. Hang on a sec, sorry, guys. I have hay fever and it's just not good. Sinuses are giving me a hard time. 
Uh, must do to describe good things. Usually it refers to an old basement or somebody's dirty socks. But we found the exception. These cookies are musty for a reason. They're made with actual grape must. I could probably read that while on the screen. No, oh, no, can't focus. Hold up, what exactly is must? It's a thick mixture containing the freshly pressed juice, skin seeds and stems of the grape, usually prepared as the first step in the wine crushing process. You could say that must is a must for winemaking. It's only when the winemaker decides the must is ready, a critical decision affects the taste, that he or she extracts grape juice from the skins, seeds and stems to begin the process of fermenting the juice into wine. Fortunately for us, the must made in Clicus, a city of the hills of northern Greece, doesn't get turned into wine. Instead, it's turned into this traditional Mustukulura cookie with a touch of cinnamon, a soft baked sweets, and an absolute must to have for any visitors in Greece. Okay, so Musto. Oh, okay. Oh, let's give this a go. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to open these up. Well, I am opening these up. Nathan's going to be able to smell these and then he's going to he's gonna locate where they are. I'm going to have to hide them so you don't want them. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so that's crumbly. Oh, it's gingery. Uh -huh, and I just got my nose. Excuse my nose. Gingery. Um, oh yeah, actually yeah, I can I can taste them. Oh, now that I've swallowed that, I've got the cinnamon taste in my mouth. Um, the cinnamon taste is almost cloves, almost like cloves. But very crumbly, very crumbly. Um, but yeah, uh, mm. trans zero trans fatty acids and lactose free, hundred eighty calories. I don't have calories written on all of these or not? No. Yeah, I could give that one a miss. Wouldn't be something I'd be jumping at. Ooh. Oh, oh, this looks good. Serenata Chipolo Hazelnut. Wouldn't it be cool if this deliciously creamy, chocolatey, and oh so hazelnut wafer had healing powers? If you ask ancient Greek, they'd say it does. According to Diosocrates, a famous Greek botanist, physician and author of a medical encyclopedia used for thousands of years. Hazelnuts didn't just cure nut cravings, they cured tons of common ailments. For a nasty cough he'd prescribe a mixture of pounded hazelnut and honey. For colds, cooked hazelnut and black pepper. Dosocrates even created a cure for boldness. Charred hazelnut shells were mixed with animal fat and smeared on receding hairlines across Greece. Mm. Uh, I don't think that'll work for Nathan. I think his hair's receded too much. This wafer, the, this wafer might not do anything for your luscious locks or lack thereof, but with whole hazelnuts and a rich cross, chocolate coating, it will cure even the most colossal sweet tooth. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay. I've been holding that here and you haven't been able to see it. Okay, so there we go. Hello, buddy. Can you smell food? <laughs> By sniffing at my feet. It's like food. Hang on, sorry. He's behind me and I can't see him. Buddy, go sit down. Okay, let's get this out. Oh, look at that. So that's a, that'll be a whole hazelnut there. So I'm going to... Oh, 
There we go. No, it's not a whole hazelnut. Okay, I had the impression that would be a whole hazelnut for some reason. Though that looks like a whole hazelnut there. Oh. Very sweet. Very, very, very sweet. Pretty close to a Ferrero Rocher. Yum. Do you like them? Very sweet, but yum. All these are so going to, so going to be so good on night shift. Okay. Peg that one. Mm. Uh, that, that, that's just a Ferrero Rocher with more more chocolate. <laughs> some people would like that, some people wouldn't. Okay. Next one, Ruschinetti Pizza. Okay. If there's one food that Greece can agree on, it's crunchy bread. Paximeter. The country beloved twice baked bread has been a national miss mainstay since ancient times because it's slow to spoil. It was originally made for far-flung Greeks, sailors out to sea, shepherds spending summer in the mountain meadows and soldiers in foreign lands. I'm still tasting that uh, serenata. Ooh, mmm. Foreign lands. But Paximadia quickly became a countrywide craving by 400 BC. Over 72 un unique types have been created. Okay, Paximadia is traditional, is stronger than ever. The bread is dipped in soups, used as a base for deli meat, feta, and olives, or crumbled into Greek salads. It also serves the inspiration for crunchy bread snacks like this one. Okie dokie. Mmm. Okay. So, Bruschinetti pizza, which is a, um, well, tomato bun. If you read that. Um, is it Italian? It's biscotti. I've seen these breads. I love these breads. I almost don't need to open these up to say that I know what it is. I love these. Mine, ah, the ones that I've had are. Um, okay. so it's all crushed up. Um, okay. So I've had these. Mm, they're not. Much. I've had these. Um, as bigger, thicker pieces, like a very nice, yum 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 yum. <laughs> this one it's called a yum box. Okay. <clears throat> oh, hold on. Okay, back now. Sorry. Hay fever. It's spring here. And for, for those that don't know, <laughs> yes, I'm Australian. <laughs> okay, next. King soft cookie with dark chocolate chunks. I'm in trouble. Ah, uh, I'm in trouble. Soft cookies. Um, mm, nom, 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 nom. I like soft cookies. The worst thing about visiting Greece in the summer. A crazy number, number of tourists. Check out the trivia. Okay, something in the trivia is better. The worst thing about visiting Greece in the summer with universal mum, yums, melted chocolate. Rather than depriving you of Greece's chocolate confections, we've chosen the best non-melty options. Yes, we're making a non, we're making non-melty a word. To include in your box, this decadent dark chocolate treat is exactly that. With dark chocolate cookies accounting for nearly 75% of Greek's cookie market. How can we not give you a taste? Made with delicious dark Belgian chocolate, along with a bit of salt and vinegar. 
This soft cookie is loads better than anything you'll find in a domestic grocery store. We're looking at you, Pepperidge Farm. I presume that's that's not something we know in the, I know in Australia. And now that we think about it, the summer heat might just be the perfect way to recreate the fresh out of the oven experience. So if this cookie is still warm, and you're reading you this, well, you better act fast. Well, it's not warm; it's cold. So, King Soft Cookie, dark chocolate chunks in passion. <laughs> Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Come on, camera focus. Let's see if this camera's going to catch up. It doesn't look like it's going to. Um, I can. It actually does give a spot to tear the bag, but because I want to be able to seal it up, I want to be able to cut it there. Camera's still not focusing. It's focusing on the cookie. Go and give me cookie. Ooh, okay. Um, Subway soft cookie. Subway cookies. Oh, I don't want to take a big piece. I don't want a little piece. There we go. Mmm. Okay. Okay, these are softer than a Subway cookie. Oh, much better, much better. That was just me <laughs> refocusing the camera so that this was in focus. Okay, nom 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 nom. Yep, and we'll go one of them again. Okay, okay. Um, I dare say I'll pack this up and take this. Um, to not for work at night, done night shift and share it around with the crew. Okie dokie, so yum. I'm still trying to work out which one is my favourite on here. Okay, so next one on the bag Mino's Nut Bar Peanut and Honey. My guessing, if you are allergic to peanuts, you don't have. Oh, muesli bar, basically. Challenge time. Can you guess where this peanut and honey candy bar hails from? No, you can't guess, guess Greece, but nice try. Here's the hint. The real answer is almost obvious. It's the island of candy. Oh, wow. Well. well, that might sound like an amazing candy-themed music park. It's actually another name for the island of Crete. How did the name come about this? The story is a surprisingly complicated, is surprisingly complicated. From 820 to 900, 820 to 961, Crete fell under the Arab, under Arab control, taking on the name Chandax or candy in English. When the Byzantine took over from 1961 to 1212, 961 to 1212 they restored the name to crete then the venetians came along changed the name back to candy until 1669 when the ottomans conquered the island and called it crete again phew since then the name crete has stuck but after trying the sweet crunchy candy packed with peanuts and honey it's just might be convinced that the candy is more fitting name for the island after all mm. okay here we go minos nut bar peanut and honey Give you a little bit of a hint. I'm not keen on honey. Okay, let's give this a go. I will actually break a piece off. Ooh. Oh, 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 I need a knife. I'm not sure if I want to put this. I went and got a sharp knife. <laughs> Oh wow. Okay guys. I don't think this is meant to be cut. Oh, there we go. I just sent a piece flying. Okay. Let's see if this is crunchy as what um, <laughs> the knife is telling me it is. 
Oh, it is. Mmm. Uh, yum. It's not. It's crunchy, but I probably could bite into that and break it off. But my knife only managed to cut that bit off. Oh, yeah, there we go. Mmm. -hmm. Okay, so. Yum. I can't, it's so crunchy though. I hope you don't mind the sound of chewing like that. It's the only one sound that I don't like. But that is really yummy. Can see the sesame seeds. Not sesame seeds. Yeah, sesame seeds in there. Let's see if we can get the camera. Um, and we have oh, it focused without me telling it to um, we have sesame little sesame bars that taste exactly like that but they're softer but that is really nice the nuts are really nice yum okay oh sorekaki with cocoa cream Look, <coughs> that was a bit of a nut stuck on the back of my throat. Okay, how uh, decadent does that look? The best part of the holidays, the sweets, of course. That couldn't be truer in Greece, where this de delectable sweet bread is served on virtually every holiday during Easter. Greek families make the dough from flour, sugar, bread, butter sugar butter and milk then carefully braid it and right before baking it decorate it with real colorful easter eggs for christmas the same dough is artificially crafted with the shape of a cross on top and for new year's it's not locally known as basil's day it's prepared for as a celebratory cake um When I've visited uh, over the over east, I don't think I've ever come across this at all anywhere. So, traditionally baked with a coin inside. Whoever finds the coin when the cake is served is bound for a year of good luck. Don't go looking for money in this particular sweetbread, though. Instead, you'll find unbelievable, unbelievably rich chocolate cream. Looks like, or should say, tastes like the holidays came early this year. Oh, okay. Oh, cinnamon. Hot cross bun. That's what it smells like. That's what it looks like. So that's it in a brain. I'm going to push it back in there. So it is a bread. Um, oh, I'll cut into it. Seal that up. <laughs> Not really sealing it up, but it's more about plugging it closed. Okay. Whoop. <clears throat> okay, that's but it does it smells very close to hot cross bun. Oh chocolate in there. Whoops, that just dropped. Slid away. Um, yeah, it does. It tastes like a hot cross bun. 
without the sultanas in it. Take it or leave it. If that was out on the table, it wouldn't be the first thing I took. But I would have some. <laughs> it's a very... It's a reasonably... Oh God, chocolate on my face. There we go. Um, it's um, It is a dense bread. Where's that wet one? <laughs> it is a... Yeah, it is a, like a very dense bread. So like if you can... Hot cross buns are a dense bread, but there's no fruit in here, no mixed spice. But it's still, it is still nice. Okay. So, I've watched unboxings. And they, I haven't seen these bits in the, um. No. So I've got a yum bag. My guessing is. This might be the extra bit for the yum bags. Um, no, I don't know. I don't know. But, so the yum bag has some lollies in it. Oh, look at the mess on my desk. Let's see how we go. I am so going to hide, have to hide this evidence and top this. But, in the yum bag, we have three, gosh, four, 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 okay. So I've got three different lollies, four of each. So, Frigelli pop pomegranate toffee. Superfood. Warning, pomegranate is dangerous, at least according to ancient Greek myth. Legend has it that the Greek god of the underworld, Hades, fell mad in love with Persephone, the goddess of vegetation and daughter of Zeus and... Oh, I don't know that one, Demeter. The goddess of the hardest. Not exactly a gentleman. Hades kidnapped Persef Persephone, trapping her in the underworld. When Demeter learned of her daughter of, learned her daughter's fate, she became a recluse. With both Persephone and Deep Deep Magon, no crops grew. Hearing the cries of hungry mortals, Zeus commanded Persephone's release. Hades agreed, but at first he fled he fed her some pomegranate. Sounds nice, right? No, it was a trick. Food was forbidden in the underworld, so eating the pomegranate meant Persephone had to stay there for a portion of every year. That's how the Greeks explained the seasons. Summer came when Persephone, Persephone returned home. Winter when she was bound to the underground. Fortunately for you, Greece's view on the pomegranate has shifted since ancient time. Today the fruit is actually considered lucky, often giving at, giving at weddings, housewarming parties and New Year celebrations. This means you're free to enjoy this juicy pomegranate jelly with no strings attached. Okay. No strings attached to this one. Okay. <coughs> Pomegranates are funny looking things, aren't they? Oh. Okay. Ah. It... It smells like medicine. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Oh. So you got a sugar coating on the outside. Jelly on the inside. And it's... It smells like medicine. It doesn't taste like medicine. <laughs> oh. Stick your fingers. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. And I've got sugar stuck to my fingers. Mmm. <laughs> okay, that's nice. Oh, okay. 
Cocos Uzo is the next one. These little blue things. Ready to take Greek taste Greece's most beloved, most famous, most popular drink. Yep, this yum might come in the form of a succulent candy, but it gets its favour from a drink. And not just any drink, Uzo. Oh, hoppa. <laughs> Uh, Uzo is derived from Tsipuru, a strong grape brandy first crafted by the 14th century monks in the peaks of Mount Athos. When anise, a flowering plant with a licorice like flower, was added to the recipe in 1830, the new version of Uzo became instant sensation. Cafes called Uzerapis popped up as go-to spots for good conversation, scrumptious snacks like olives and feta cheese and a coarse refreshing glass of ouzo. The drink is so beloved and so uniquely Greek that in 2006 the country filed a case with the European Union to claim exclusive rights over ouzo sales and won. So whether you love or hate its licorice flavour, with this ouzo inspired alcohol-free candy you're tasting iconic greek flavor you literally can't get from anywhere else i don't like anise and a sweet <laughs> oh i can smell it i don't like ouzo <laughs> can i leave that one to last because that's a solid ball that's going to take a while to chew i gonna leave that one for last um, it's there. <laughs> That's the one I'll have in my mouth when I sign off, I think. Okay. Last thing, because that's so hard. Okay. Cocos Honey Toffee. So I'll go back to that one. Honey Toffee. Honey flavoured chew. Pick up this, pick this honey candy out of your box. And guess what? You might just be holding the secret immortality. In ancient Greece, honey was dubbed the nectar of the gods. While it's true that the gods had a soft spot for the golden goo, there's more to this phrase than meets the eye. The word nectar comes from the Greek nectar, meaning death, and far, meaning the ability to overcome. So nectar of the gods actually refers to the popular belief that honey made the gods immortal. Imagine if achieving immortality were possible by just eating this delightful chewy honey candy. No harm in trying. Immortality, here we come. Doesn't really have a smell. Oh, 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 it's fairly stuck to that paper. Doesn't have a smell. Let's get this paper off. I'm going to be eating paper. I don't want to eat paper. Am I going to have to get the tweezers out? Oh, no. I got, oh, God. There's a little bit of paper on there. All right. nice there's a little hint of something else there but yeah it's not bad still not something I'd be rushing to grab out of the top jolt lolly jar but alright because you can't put half a lolly back no way Okay, so while I go through this, what else have we got? No, I'm not really keen on that. A bit of an aftertaste. <laughs> bit of an aftertaste. Just as well I didn't have the hard candy because this one's taken a while to chew. Greek gods and goddesses. According to myth, Mount Olympus had the home of the gods. But every now and again, the gods wanted to mingle with the mortals, guide each mythical figure down to the mountain to mortal world by matching them to the riddle that describes them. 
the Muses, Athena, Hades, Aphrodite, Apollo, Zeus, Poseidon, Dionysus. Oh, this one's to me. Dionysus. Um, that is where my son got his name from. Um, just... So if we go through A, I'm the king of gods, I control lightning and thunder, and cross me and it's sure to be a blunder. Well, that's Zeus. B, the underworld is where I reign. Well, that's Hades with my three-headed dog. Don't worry, he's tame. That's Hades. I tend to my name. I, I lend my name to a super famous city. I'm the goddess of war, my enemies a my enemies I pity uh, not quite sure <laughs> okay archery dance healing I'm God of them all the heartthrob of the heavens so handsome and tall that one is Um, archery, dance, healing. Oh, it's not Athena. Archery, dance, healing. I'm God of them all. I think no, no, no. Don't know. Um. Next one. Look to us, ladies, for creative inspiration. We'll make a lame song into a lithical. Sensation, I think that's Athena. And then with my mighty trident, I command the sea. Protecting sailors is no mean small feat. I think you'll agree. Well, that is Poseidon. Here I pose the goddess of beauty and pleasure. I've fallen in love more times than I can measure. So that's Aphrodite. I'm the god of celebration, gapes and wine. I'll take the party from dull to divine. Well, that one is Dionysus. So, I'd say Apollo is, I lend my name to a, no, I don't know which one goes with which. Do we get the answers? No, no answers. I'll have to find out where the answers are. Uh, graduating class of ancient Greece. Thespius, Homer, Plato, Alexander the Great, Euclid, and Leonardus of Rhodes. There's a recipe to cook Greek flatbread and trivia answers. Oh, hang on, there we go. I've got the answers. So, number one was E. Number one, sorry. Oh, okay, E, one was, look, no, two, was C, yeah, okay, oh, one was E, the muses, look to us ladies, so it is ladies, is it, I couldn't even see, oh yeah, look to us ladies, that makes sense now, um, three, Hades was, Underworld's where I reign. Four, Aphrodite was G, which is the goddess of beauty. Five was H, the god of celebration. I'll touch on that one shortly. For what I've read, uh, number six, Poseidon, was F, the mighty trident. Zeus was A, and Apollo was archery, dance, and healing. There we go. Got the answers, yay! And that camera's not focusing. How long was that not in focus? But yeah, my son was called um, was based. That's where we got. His, I got his name was Dionysus, god of wine making. There we go. God of celebration, grapes and wine. He takes any party from dull to divine. That's where his name came from. Um, mainly because my married name could be alcohol related obviously i'm not 
I don't have my married name anymore. But um, that was the only way we would get that him related to alcohol. And I think I read that how uh, Dionysus died. Um, and I'm not quite, I'm not 100% correct, but I do believe Dionysus died in pieces. He was torn apart by horses. Deliberately. <laughs> For a reason. <laughs> okay. So, all done with the box. If you had our super yum box, you could still be snacking. So I didn't have, uh, there was three things I didn't get, which I'm okay with. Okay. Um, where we're heading next the symphonies give chilies you can't hear them in the opera house no the symphonies give chills you can't hear them in the opera house the castles the hills but when you taste yums the music will be eclipsed by world famous chocolate and punchy red chips I don't know about red chips okay I suppose I don't know. I well, know for the first one I thought it was going to be Switzerland. Hmm. Now, back to the the one that I didn't eat because I know I'm going to struggle eating. Well, not that I'm going to struggle eating it. It's going to be still in my mouth at the end of it. So this was the Ouzo flavoured hard candy. Oh yeah. And it's even more. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> oh, this one's going to stay for a while. Get pulled up by the cops after having one of these. I go, oh, that smells like Uzo. It's actually, it's not bad. It's not. So aniseed is like, as I say, licorice. Then it's not so bad. All right. So I'm going to pack this box up. Put the lollies back in the bag. Um, what would I say was my favourite? Um... I probably going from what I like the least to the most. So, oh, wasn't that no? The Uzo lolly is probably the no. The Uzo lolly is not. Wouldn't even be the least. I'd actually eat those. I put that one just not because it wasn't a favourite, but more that meh. It's just like it. yeah. Um. Oh gosh, I couldn't even tell. Um. These are all yummy. I can't, can't, I can't do it. Probably the sato, um, the chips. Uh, well, they were really nice. Um, bruschetta yini. Ah, that one didn't get me that much. The triple, triple O because it just tasted like. Um, still going with the rolling. That tasted like. Ferrero Rocher. That one was like a, a Kit Kat. Um, I love them. But probably that way, then those, and then the baklava. Oh, well, warm baklava, but it's baklava. And I knew this would take a while. I'm not even a quarter of the way through it. Right here. So I shall hide my Greek mess from the other half. <laughs> Hopefully he won't, well, <laughs> he can smell food a mile away. And I'll tell you what, Greek food, he's really going to smell it. But there we go. Yum, 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 yum box. So this was the yum, yum box. They give you the option of subscriptions for these um, 
just checking your subscription prepaid for a year you can pay for it for a year um, so you pay for it for a year so you pay one fee for a year you pay monthly or if you do it as a gift you can go um, you can select um, as a gift you can select 12 months six months three months or one month so if you want to give it to a gift for someone or you want to trial it gift it to yourself for like well I did three months oh, sorry I did six months so I've gifted it to myself it equals to 25 US a box so I paid 150 for th for six boxes but $25 a box I don't know do like them oh, and I'm like I'm actually liking this lolly <laughs> I am really like it which really surprised me um, but yeah I will put the link below to the yum yum boxes yum, universal yums and um, hopefully so this I will just say this now I am using the new computer so hopefully this one worked if the sound isn't good my apologies I <laughs> I think it seems to be an issue that I have um, but yeah uh, I will say thank you guys for watching um, for those that are just joining me for, for, because you, you've found me under the, under the yum side of things um, this is mainly a craft channel but I've just started getting a couple of subscription boxes so I'm going to throw some subscription boxes in there for my other subscription boxes are craft related so yeah if you're into your crafts and trialing different things um, feel free to join me so yeah guys give me a thumbs up leave a comment still got my ears like hang on a sec see the size of that lolly it's still going they're going to be take a long time all right, so yeah give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down if you like um, leave a comment which one of these foods do you think you'd go for um, yeah please uh, hit the subscribe button and uh, that little bell just tip the bell so you get notified of uh, when my next go uh, upload a, a video or perhaps even I'll go live one day well I have gone live but you never know when I go live I don't stick to a schedule so that's it guys thanks for watching and bye for now